Hi Canberra, I'm Georgina Whelan, Commissioner of the ACT Emergency Services Agency. As the end of the year approaches, it's a time to look back and reflect on the achievements and the challenges that we've overcome as an agency throughout 2021. Over the past 12 months, we have appointed three permanent Chief Officers. Matthew Mavity's appointment marks a milestone as the first ACT firefighter appointed to that position in more than 13 years. I'm also immensely proud to have Anthony Dram lead our state emergency service and Rowan Scott appointed as our Chief Officer of the Rural Fire Service. Overall, we've had 96 new staff start this year, including 37 new firefighters, 22 graduate paramedics and 19 call takers, as well as 100 volunteers joining our Rural Fire Service and the State Emergency Service in both operational and support roles. On the front line, our emergency communication officers answered more than 54,000 calls to triple zero. And firefighters, paramedics, staff and our fabulous volunteers reviewed nearly 85,000 incidents. Significant training and development opportunities have occurred within our team of teams. I would like to celebrate the 20 new station officers and five new commanders that completed their development programs, as well as the 20 Rural Fire Service members that completed advanced firefighter training, 21 members that completed their crew leader qualification, and our 12 members that upskilled to divisional commander. As many of us wind down for the end of the year, I'd like to make a special shout out to those on the front line and our enabling staff here at the ESA that give up precious time with family and friends to keep Canberra safe every day of the year. To you, the Canberra community, I would like to wish you a happy holiday and hope that you do have the opportunity to rest and recharge over this summer break. Merry Christmas, Canberra, and I look forward to seeing you all in 2022.